Good evening. Hello, hello. Okay. Good evening. So, yes, we can. We can. Hi, Gladys. I can see Glenda, Elvis, and Jessica. How are you today? Fine. You're fine? Today is very busy. Really? Yes. The same for me, you know? It has been a very busy, busy day. No? But this is... Um, it was. It has been a great day, even though it has been busy, but I'm happy to be here. So let me ask you, is it raining? Just right there where you live or not? Yes. No, it's not? a lot of no. It's not raining. In my house, yes. Yes, right? Jessica and Gladys, they say yes. Because here in San Salvador, yes, it is raining. I don't know why, you know? Siempre esperan la clase de inglés para empezar a llover y no. ¿Qué pasa? Digo yo? Sí, porque no está no, bien. Como a las, como a las cinco y media, seis. Sí, yeah, right? Un buen yes. cocote aquí en mi casa. ¿sí? Exacto. Si yo viniendo al trabajo iba y ya no, ya, o sea, me, me quedé encerrada en el carro con mi cuñada porque no. Because it was raining, <laughs> no rain, you know? Sí. Yes, I was coming from work, you know, at that time I was coming from work and I didn't have my umbrella. I forgot my umbrella, so I had to stay there and to wait until um, I could move to, to my house, you know? Se me olvidó mi sombría, ahora sí estaba fuera de casa este día, así que fue difícil esperar casi 40 minutos que duró la lluvia. Sí, bastante yeah, right? fuerte, un ratito. Yeah, it was a heavy rain. So, today, let me... today was hot in Chalatenango. Really hot? Okay. In, interesting. Not in here. It was not hot here. Yes, tell me. Okay, Gladys. Go. Yeah, so go ahead. Don't worry. Go ahead. Okay. Let me see. Nine students. Nine students already. Well, eight, actually eight students. Let's wait for your classmates, at least 10, so we can start with this class, okay? So I was checking WhatsApp. I don't know if you read the, the message. Quien envió el mensaje? I guess it was Paola, right? Estaba leyéndolo sobre la plataforma. Sí, Paola, Paola. Eh, para ya poder iniciar el módulo siguiente el lunes. Wow, esta vez sería súper rápido. Así que, eh, si ya terminaron con la plataforma, perfecto. Si no, podemos ahora igual trabajar en algún ejercicio que les eh, quede duda o que les haya costado. Eh, con, con Raquel, con Irma Raquel, hemos estado trabajando, ¿verdad, Irma? Hasta que pudimos resolver. Este, oh, ay, sí. right. Es que ahí se pare, parecía simple, pero me dio problema. Ya, yes. sí. ¿saben que eh, Una coma que estaba separada. Eh, de la palabra nos dio problemas estuvimos las dos pensando que si sí es la respuesta correcta pero al final pudimos resolver así que cualquier cosa ya saben you can text me and I'm gonna be there to help you si me tardo un poco en responder ya saben es porque estoy desde mi trabajo a veces bueno siempre mejor dicho pero si sí trato de eh, igual ayudarles con los ejercicios de plataforma here we go so let me have your cameras on Remember, it is necessary for you to have the cameras on so we can interact with each other and we can participate as well. How many students do we have? Okay, 13. That's great. I already have 13 students. I'm still missing Gabby and Stephanie, Emerson, Eduardo, and Brian with cameras on, okay? This is class. Let me check what class is this one. Class number. 14, right? Clase 14, vamos ya. Yeah. Oh, yes, right. Today is Tuesday. So, yes, it's class number 14. Imagine. Look, we are about to finish with section number five. Remember that yesterday we were talking about um, family members, the vocabulary, and we didn't finish with the activity. So, in today's class, we we're going to finish with the activity and also. Uh, we are going to introduce the last topic from section number five, that is the present continuous. 
So this is class number 14. We are just missing class number 15 and 16. So this module will be over, okay? Let's go back and let's make a review. Let's have a quick review about the vocabulary. Do you remember the categories? ¿Qué categorías teníamos ayer? Three categories. Two. Girls. Boys. To practice. Both. Girls in the family. Boys in the family. And. Both. Both. Exactly. Both. Both. Veamos que tenemos acá. I have some examples here about men in the family. And of course, we have some other. We have so many words in the vocabulary. But this is like um, the group uh, that is more, more, most, more, more common, okay? In this case, great grandfather, your grandpa, uh, that is similar of saying grandfather. Pa, that is a so very informal way of saying uh, dad or father in this case. Look, after that we have father. What else do we have? Daddy, yesterday we were mentioning this one, daddy. It's a very informal way of saying father. Husband, uncle, and father-in-law, okay? Which one do you consider is the most informal in this case? La más informal de este group, from this group. La más, más, más informal que vamos acá. Which one? Daddy. I don't think so. Daddy is... Not that informal, you know. Take a look at this. Maybe pa. Pa, you know. I guess this is not that common. Or do you use this expression? Será que usamos esta expresión, but probably not in English, right? But mostly no. in Spanish. Spanish, I guess. Spanish, yes. Spanish, yes, but in, in English, Spanish. I guess we don't use it, right? So in my case, I have I have never used this one before. Nunca lo usado, pa. Probably in Spanish, yes, because it's similar to papa, right? It's like the short form of saying papa. But in English, well, maybe it's not that common. The most common ones for this category is daddy, I guess. Daddy or father or dad, right? Look what we have here. So mother example. Who wants to read? Let me have you read. Don't worry if you don't remember the correct pronunciation. After that, I'm going to uh, make corrections if necessary, okay? Who can read the examples? This is the same category, men in the family. Let me have first uh, Gabriela. Please go ahead and read the, the, the examples, please. Okay, uh, brother, nephew, boy, baby boy, twin boys, cousin, brother-in-law, Boyfriend, men, and men. Okay, great pronunciation. Thank you. Brother, nephew, boy, baby boy. This is very common, you know. Whenever we want to refer to a baby, but we already know that this is a boy, we are going to use both expressions or both words together. Baby boy. He's a baby boy. Or he is my baby boy. Okay. This is so common. Esto sí es muy común de escuchar. Twin, boys, hmm. or we can also have twins only. Mean twins. But if you want to be specific, you can also say twin boys or Esos twins. son gemelos. Sí, son gemelos. En este caso, creo que son específicos porque los dos son Eh, chicos, son varones, ¿verdad? Twin boys. That's why we are being specific. Twin boys. But you can also say twins. Gemelos, los gemelos. Okay, and... Teacher. Yeah. It's, it seems he meant um, um, Emerson. <laughs> it How... seems... Ese hombre, ese hombre se parece mucho a Emerson, el dibujito de... <risa> es igualito a Emerson. Digamos. Hey, sí, da, da, da. Razón, sí. Tiene razón, Sí, tiene razón. Alike. Sí, uh, mi teclado, alike. 
is alike. Se parece. No es seems, que es parecido. Pero eso cuando queremos referirnos a una persona. Ah, no, ok. Sería he looks like, tal vez. Ah, oh, oh, ok. Like. Hey, Emerson. Es igualito a Emerson. He hasta el corte like. de cabello que se ha hecho. <ríe> Really? Let me, let me look for Emerson. What are you, Emerson? Okay. I'm here, teacher. Yes, now I can see you. Yeah, he looks alike. He looks like Emerson or he looks alike. Esta expresión es muy usada, mean, He looks like or alike. Se parece. What's going on with my keyboard today? Está muy sensible mi teclado ahorita. Alike. He looks like. Y la que decía a Lely, it seems. Look, <laughs> parece. Sí es cierto que la traducción es parece. Pero la usamos, miren, en este contexto. Por ejemplo, it seems it is going to rain. Parece que va a llover toda la noche. Creo que va a llover, ¿ok? Pero sí es otro contexto. Cuando nos referimos a la apariencia de alguien, look, looks like or alike, ¿ok? So, excellent. Pero Now, el look like no sería como de buen ver, de buen parecer. No de similitud. Mm, no te aproveches, no te aproveches. If we want to... No, solo estoy preguntando. <laughs> Pero, también, ajá, fíjense que depende porque si quieren usarlo como un eh, adjetivo good looking aquí esto ya se convierte en adjetivo oh look the cloud. good looking ahora sí es un adjetivo pero en mi expresión si se fijan es un verbo like ok he looks like la gramática en inglés va bien variante. Una sola palabra puede usarse como un nombre, verbo, y cambia la, eh, en este caso, el significado. The meaning of the word, it may vary. It depends on um, of what we are referring to. Okay? So, men and men, singular and plural. That's it. Let's see. Now we have some examples about Teacher, solo women. Teacher, consulta. Yes. En, la, en la fotografía anterior no veo lo que es los nietos. Oh, yes, Faltaría. maybe, yes, maybe they are not included here, but this is just like uh, an example of some of the words referring to men in the family. This is not like the complete vocabulary. This is just like an example, a sample of all of the vocabulary that we presented yesterday. But of okay. course, you can include it. Don't you worry. Solo son ejemplos. Veamos. Women in the family. So, Emerson. Let's take advantage of Emerson. Can you help me out reading, please? Great grandmother. Yes. Mother. Mom. Mommy. Housing. Nice. Daughter. Um. Okay. Great grandmother. Mother. Or mom. Or mommy. Look. Cousin means... Daughter, aunt, niece. It's not nice, you know. It's niece. Niece. Okay. Or as Elvis, he was mentioning yesterday something. What was your coming yesterday, Elvis? Dijo nice niece. <laughs> She's a nice niece. This Cuando la sobrina es bien chévere. Nice uh -huh. niece. Nice niece, you know. So you can practice the pronunciation as well. Nice niece, yes. I guess we have some other examples. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Um, who wants to read these examples? Well, you can go ahead and practice pronunciation. Okay, go ahead, please, Elvis. Girl, twins, girl, sister, girlfriend, wife, teen, woman, woman. Okay, there we go. Girl twins. Remember, we can also say twins only. But if you want to be specific, you can also use that expression. Twin. Girl, sister, girlfriend, wife, 
Ah, uh, but this one. This is for girls and for boys, not only for girls, okay? Boys and girls. Please do not forget this one, boy or girl. Teen, teen. And then we have singular and plural, okay? Singular and plural. So let me see. I don't have a picture for the other category. Both, ambos. Who wants to share the information with the class? Good Who evening. La lista? Hi, Sorry. welcome. Welcome to the class. ¿Quién tiene la lista completa? Both. Ambos. Eh, yo tengo palabras? algunos. Partner, okay. grandchild, okay. ex, son y grandparent. Okay, go ahead, please. It is. Hola. Do you have some other examples or no? Um just like um, relative cousin um just that just that right i guess uh we have few words in that category okay so questions about this vocabulary questions about the vocabulary about members of the family or is it clear is all clear Yes or no? It's clear. I yes, it's clear, clear. Right? Yes. So look, in order to finish with this activity, we are going to have um, some discussion questions in order to tell information about our family. For example, I have four different words. Well, the last one is an expression that we can use in order to get information from people. Number one, how your close family is made of. Close family, what do we refer about with this expression? ¿A qué nos referimos con close family? Los más cercanos, familia con en la casa. casa. The family that live under the same roof. Bajo el mismo techo, digamos, en la misma casa. Because if we start talking about the whole family, this is not an, it's not an enough class, you know? We don't have enough time in this class. So how your close family is made of? Or we can also say composed by, composed by. Number two, who can read this one? Who can read the last examples? Please go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Elvis. Tell me. Oh. Dale, dale, dale. Okay, tell me about your brothers and um, sisters. Continue. What does he, she do? Tell me about your kills. Okay, of course, thank you. These are just examples in order to get information about people. How close family, okay, I'm sorry, how your close family is made of. How your close family is composed by. Hey, tell me about your brother. Tell me about your sister. Tell me about your mom. Tell me about your dad. Tell me about your parents. What does he do? What does she do? Tell me about your kids. Tell me about your wife. You know, we can have different examples, but this is just an idea. I want you to go and talk to your classmates about these questions or similar questions, okay? And after that, we are going to share 
the information with the class. I am going to give you five minutes to discuss. Okay, is it clear? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Five minutes to discuss about it's, your family's information. It's clear. Okay, it's clear. So I am going to send this information to WhatsApp right now. Okay, here we go. Hi, Isabel. I'm going to send you to room number seven. Okay, go to room number seven. Okay, teacher. There we go. Okay, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer, Isabu? No sé, teacher. Okay, yes, okay. I guess Isabu, she's just coming, right? Está apenas entrando a la clase. If you see, if you go and check WhatsApp, we have these questions. Miren, estas preguntas que tenemos acá son las que vamos a discutir, ¿ok? Vamos mm -hmm. a preguntar sobre la familia. These are just examples that you can use in order to get information about your classmates, families, information. <coughs> Usen este tipo de preguntas para obtener información de la familia, de sus compañeros. This is very similar to the reading. ¿Se acuerdan de la lectura que tuvimos allá? Muy parecida. ¿Qué hace tu hermano? ¿Qué hace tu hermana? Oh, he is a wildlife photographer. Den ideas sobre eso, ¿ok? Solo es una... Eh, es para que ustedes practiquen el vocabulario. Okay, ¿Sí, clear? Sure. Ok, go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teacher, ¿cómo digo que my sister no working? Just like that, just like that. My sister is not working. Or she's Así. a house. Why? Sí, está okay. casada. So oh, that's... Digo, my sister not working. Or no work. Ajá, she doesn't work. You know, she just stayed at home. O le llamamos ama de casa. House. Why? Yes, you can express it in that way. Yeah. ¿Cómo se escribe el ama de casa? Dijo house, wife. House and then wife. Together. Both work. Yes. Housewife. Mm -hmm. No lleva, esa palabra bajo, no lleva el acento, ¿verdad? Eh, perdón, el guión. 
Porque solo son dos, ¿verdad? Ajá, exactly. Because there are okay. just two words, exactly. ¿Cómo saber eh, de tres en adelante se les pondría el, el guioncito? Sí, de tres en adelante. E incluso saben que hay vale. algunos números en inglés que se les pone guión. Los números se llevan guión. Por ejemplo, 21, 22 se lleva guión. 41, 42 se dividen por guión. Pero ah, eso sí. también es opcional, you know? It's just an optional. Uh -huh. Vaya. Sí. Ok. So continue working. Y... Dice, uh, eh, ¿verdad que la pregunta primera, how, are, how your close family, es como quiénes componen la, la, el núcleo familiar? Ajá, los que viven en casa, exactamente. Y you can say, uh, my close family is made of my husband, my baby boy, and me. In my case, that is my close family. Mm. Yeah? Y uh, si se pone my family... ¿Cómo se dice? Com, com, pos, la palabra es a compost. Compost. Remember <laughs> compost. that it is in past. Uh -huh. Compost. Okay. Yeah, okay. Entonces se podría poner my family composed by my parents and I. Yes, that's it. Very good job. Okay. okay. La última acción me about kids. No tengo kids. <laughs> you don't have a kids, okay? <laughs> no, nah, I don't have kids. You are a lucky girl. Ah, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet, right? But don't worry. So I'm going to stay here. Just continue working, okay? This is a discussion. I want you to share the information with your classmates. Vaya, yo les puse. How your close family is made of or composed, creo que se dice. Puse my family composed by my parents and I. Uh, what does he or she do? Uh, my brother works in Nipro company. My sister is housewife. And la otra, tell me about your kids. I don't have kids. Creo. So, Fatima and Emerson, go ahead and share your information, please. Um, okay. No sé si logran escucharme bien. Sí. University. And, and he is... <laughs> yes, he is studying right now at the university. <laughs> All right. Um. And you, Brian? Este, no me has formulado bien la pregunta. What does he do? Or what does she do? O sea, ah, what does he do? Eh, sí, my, brother, my brother is... is, is, is he, works, he works in market. Um, he's he's seller and he's happy with with your bicycle and he wake up very early and all right okay where does he work brian where does your brother work? He works in in market. He's employee. In the market, though, I, I, I can I couldn't hear well. No pude escuchar bien, por eso pregunto otra vez. In the market. <laughs> ah, okay. So uh, in this case, is he a seller or a vendor? ¿Se acuerdan la diferencia? Seller and vendor. What is the difference? ¿Qué sería bueno, eso? Bueno, no, no, no. Eh, yo diría que seller, pero uh -huh. no sé qué vendor, la verdad. ¿Quién sabe? Who, who can remember about that vocabulary? Seller. ¿Saben que un seller, en este caso, más que todo es como un empleado eh, que 
que trabaja bajo un salario, pero en el caso de your brother, he is like a vendor. ¿Por qué? Porque la gente viene a buscar su producto. Él trabaja bajo un salario. Oh, right. no, no, Okay, mm -hmm. so yes, so in that case, yes, we can say he's a vendor. So that's it. Excellent. Vendor is como, vendor is como eh, vendedor o algo así. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Y I guess Gaby estaba mencionando well, la Universidad de Salvador, sister. right? Yes. Sí, es, uh, and your sister. I was, I was talking about my sister. Your sister. But in this your case, sister. we can know, we can say maybe not national university, but we can refer to this place as University of El Salvador, you know? University okay. of El Salvador, yes. In that way, we can refer to, to this place. So continue working. I'm okay. going to give you two extra minutes so you can finish, okay? Go ahead and finish. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have brothers or sisters? I only said the mine and the others didn't listen to me. Yes, I told you that I had two sons. I can say when I ask him, 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 Uh -huh. Her jewel cloth family is my own. Y le puedo decir, my family is mom and, and sister, porque solo es mi mami y mi hermana, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y pico yo, ¿verdad? Y después quiero ver las otras, como dice, te brother, sister. Donde dice, háblame de tu hermano o tu hermana, solo a la área de mi hermana. Ajá. Uh -huh. My sister is a student. Ella es un es estudiante. Ajá. ¿Solo eso o tengo que dar más información sobre ella? ¿Se puede agregar alguna otra cosa ahí o, 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 o para que alcancemos a responder las otras? No, sí, ah, que que, también dice ajá. que, ¿Cómo que la hace de ella. Ajá, Como porque dice, en la... háblame, de, háblame de, tu, de ella. Y la, la siguiente es, ¿qué hace ella? Entonces ahí sería que la tercera el que es estudiante. Es... Ajá. Ajá. Como la, que en la, la tercera la... tiene que estudio? poner una cualidad de ella. En la tercera Ajá. podría ser. Puede Ajá. ser, ella es... Sí, es... Yo le he puesto, my sister are very intelligent. Ajá, Ajá es inteligente. Ajá, mis hermanas son muy inteligentes, les he puesto yo. Ajá, y como no tiene hijos. Aquí es donde... Okay, time to come back and to listen to your replies. <clears throat> okay, time is over. Here we go. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> so, you know, I was listening to some of you and you know this is the chance in which you need to collect all the information from previous classes previous courses so you can use the vocabulary and the grammar you know Acá combinamos todo lo que hemos aprendido. tell me about your family ah now you can mention about jobs and professions you can describe your brothers or sisters or members of your family you know 
we can use the simple present, the present progressive, you know. Aquí pueden juntar toda la información que aprendimos. Toda la mezcolanza. Todo, aquí se vale todo, ¿ok? Good pronouns, bad pronouns. Yes, now. <laughs> Para eso sirve todo lo, lo poquito que hemos aprendido en las diferentes clases. Y sí, solo son pequeñísimas correcciones que he hecho algunos, ¿ok? In pronunciation or maybe in the structure. Remember that whenever we give information about our family, we are going to use the simple present tense. Damos información en general. Por eso, when we talk about a, a girl or a boy, remember we need to add S or ES to the verb. Agregamos E, ES o S al verbo, ¿ok? No olviden eso. He works. She studies. She lives. Acuérdense, porque hablamos del simple present tense. Eh, because of the time, I'm just going to listen to four of you. Cuatro de ustedes para eh, presentar esta información. First one. The first one is how your close family is made of. How your close family is made of. Aleli, please. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, my close family is my husband, um, two kids, one teenager and one adult. Um, um, I have two sisters, okay. uh, one nurse, and um, other um, is licenciada mercadeo. Okay. Um, can I, um, in, can I ask another question? Ah, uh, my son, my sons, um, one is teenager. Uh, ah, okay. I have. How uh, old he is he? Uh, um, is fourteen hours. Um, other is um, twenty twenty years. Um, is a student in university, and okay. other is this. Uh, um, octavo grado. No sabría decirle in high school. Yes, in high school. Okay. Okay, this is only only my family. Okay, great information, you know. Now you see you're using the structures and the vocabulary. No corrections, Aleli. Okay, thank you so much for you. presenting your information. Uh, Aleli, pick one of your classmates, but I need a boy. Pick a boy from your classmates so he can participate in this activity. Um, Fatima? A boy, not a girl. In ah, a boy, boy, boy. Yeah. Oh, Cesar. <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. Cesar, tell me about your family, okay? Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, my close, my close family composed by uh, only, only I. <laughs> okay. Only I. <laughs> So Not, it means it means that you live my alone. Son, my, my son, my uh, son, live in the, the mother. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, Your son lives. Yeah. Remember, lives or is Lives. living is living with his mom. Yeah. With his mom. Okay. With, with his mom. So, do you have pets? Probably who live at home with you. Maybe a dog, a cat? No? No, no. No? No. Why no. not? Is it that you don't like pets or you don't have pets? Uh, my time. My time, no, no. Mm, it's because of your time. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Very good job, sister. Now yeah. tell me the name of one of your classmates, but with the camera off. Quien tenga cámara apagada, please tell me one of your classmates' name. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fernando Arturo quiere ir. Okay. Fernando. 
Esperemos que no tenga problemas con internet. Fernando, tell me about your family, please. You see, he's not there. Vamos a pedirle que no reactive su audio. No connection, Fernando. No connection, dice. Se fue a comer. <laughs> Fernando, <laughs> the class is not over. <laughs> okay, so pick, let's another la, la, <laughs> pick another la one. Pick another one, please. Otra, yeah. otra, with the camera off. Glenda Abigail Márquez. Glenda. The camera off, dijo. A camera, camera off. Camera off, yes, camera off. All right. No, I'm sorry, sorry, Glenda. La salve, Glenda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ya veo, ya que. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, Edwin Ernesto. ¿Qué manda? Hi, Edwin. Can you tell me about your family? Yeah, solo, solo aclaro, teacher, que no la silencié todo me saca de la plataforma. Yes. No, sí, si Edwin sí si ya me ha explicado el, el motivo. Incluso los ejercicios de plataforma ya me explicó por qué. Bien, vamos, Edwin, don't worry. Tell me about your family. Okay, my family is small. Um, my mom. Okay. My wife, my daughter, um, my son. Uh, my son is 20, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. My daughter, um, 15, 15. 15, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, pues, my wife, yeah, 40 años. For four years. She's 40 four years. years old, okay. That's it. Um, uh, no, ah, brothers, uh, only two, no, no comunicación, no mucha comunicación con ellos. Ah, uh, you don't talk to them, okay. Mm. Okay. Solamente. That's it. Como yes. decimos solamente en inglés. That's it. That, that, that's it. Se los muestro para que lo ocupen siempre, okay? That's it. And you know, it was quite interesting. Él estaba diciendo wifey. ¿Qué será eso? My wifey. Esposa. Mm -hmm. Esposa. Pero de una manera de decirlo cariñosa. My wifey, you know? Yes, wifey. Como una manera de decirlo más cariñoso, ¿no? Sí, Como sí, decir sí. hobby. Como hobby. Uh -huh. <laughs> My wifey, sí, es verdad. Entonces me pareció interesante. Yes, it's a cute way. Aunque a veces la sacan de contexto, pero sí, es una manera como diferente de llamar a la esposa. Wifey, my wife, ¿ok? Eh, that's it. Good. This, like this. Eso es todo. That's it or that's all. Para finalizar como una presentación o que ya no tienen más información que agregar. That's all. That's it. Teacher, is yeah. al decir someone else? Someone else. ¿Qué pasa con eso? ¿Son ¿Alguien, más? ¿Alguien más? Ajá. ¿Será lo mismo o similar? ¿Similar a qué? ¿A decir eso es todo? No, ¿O para ¿sí? finalizar una conversación? No, pero son one else. Eh, ¿Es alguien lo... más? ¿Alguien más? ¿Son one else? Uh, Tal vez si le hago en forma de pregunta. Dándole, dándole el paso a alguien el más para, a alguien para más, la si conversación. But that's it, es como aquí finalizo mi presentación. That's all. Or thank you. No será que quiere decir something else. Something else, pero esa sería como pregunta, ¿verdad, André? Ajá, también. Más? Something else. But I don't think so. Creo que no, no viene al, al contexto para finalizar una conversación. Last one, el último. Last one. It can be a girl or a boy. Eh, ¿Quién estaba? Edwin, pick one of your classmates. Edwin, elige el último. Ok, teacher, solo quiero ver quiénes están. No veo muchos. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is the lucky girl or the lucky boy? No, hay que darle chance a las niñas. Ok, I agree on that. Yo digo. Fátima Esmeralda. <laughs> ok, <laughs> Fátima, go ahead. Go ahead and tell me about your family. Thank you. <laughs> um, my family is confused by parents and 
my brother. My father is former military. And my brother was in the house. And my brother is working in San Salvador. That is. That's it. That's Any it. question that you want to make to her or any type of information that you're curious about her family class? Who wants to make a question, an extra question about Fatima's family? Uh, your father, what is the work? Former military. Military? Former, yes. Oh, okay. Do you have an idea, Eleli, what is that about? Él es un militar retirado? Eso es. Okay. My father, también. My father, My okay. father too. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. My father. Ay, qué humor el de mi padre, pero bueno. Really? <laughs> Yes, I can imagine, you know, I can imagine, I know what you, what you mean, yo sé qué significa eso, you know, because my, no, nah, esa es una historia aparte, okay, so, you see, this is just like a little example or exercise about how we can tell information about our family. If you go to the platform, there we have an example, you know, but it's quite easy. Veamos, ¿dónde está mi plataforma? Where is it? Ah. And your close family, professor. My close family, you know, yes. uh, my close family is composed by my husband and my baby boy. You know, my baby boy oh my is, he is six years old. Yeah, he's six years old, you know. So he's taking online classes yet. So. It is a big mess, you know, whenever we wake up in the morning, he doesn't want to wake up, you know, he's always complaining or even crying because he doesn't want to shower in the morning. So it's a big mess, you know, and because my husband, oh my he's working at home as well, my husband. So we are all together all day long. So you can imagine, you know, this sometimes is a, it's a mess. Oh, yeah. Your healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I really wish to go out, you know, and just leave them, you know, at home and to be by myself. But yeah, sometimes I I have the chance to go to my office, so I just leave them, you know, los dejo solos and I'm really happy, you know, <laughs> I feel happy. <laughs> Yes, es bien difícil, créame, estar lidiando con dos personitas iguales, porque son igualitos. Two children. Yeah, two little kids, yes. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, please. You are toxic. My, ¿qué? Toxic. A toxic girl. You are a toxic girl. Okay, no, you know, right. I'm not. I'm very patient. I'm so patient, you know. I'm not that toxic, you know. Emerson. No, but that's well, a good question. Uh, that is a good question. Well, I'm, I'm, a classroom. Classroom. I'm not, you know, so. Or do I look like a toxic girl? <laughs> no, for nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. No, para nada. Okay, you know? No, but sometimes it can vary, you know, like in front of my classmates or my students, I can be, you know, very nice, but at home I can be totally different though. It's acceptable. You don't worry, you know. Eh, no me preocupa ese tipo de preguntas o no me ofende. No, I'm okay. What? You know, sharing my information with my students. Oh, eh, teacher, so don't yeah. worry, be happy, okay? Yes. <laughs> no, saben que no. We have been together for 10 years already. Ya llevamos 10 años juntos, so. Oh, what, what can happen? You know, what can happen? ¿Qué puede pasar nada? You know? Eh, wow. Es muy tranquilo. My husband, he's es tan tranquilo, you know? He's so, so cute, you know? So I cannot complain. 
I cannot complain. If I had a picture, I could show you the picture, but I guess I don't have a picture right now. Les prometo mañana les muestro una foto. So you can now okay. get to know my husband, you know? Sorry, teacher. Are you, are you historica? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not. <laughs> Le da Sorry, curiosidad teacher. a ver cómo es el teacher. No, don't be es sorry. Que teacher, es que teacher dicen que la palabra no es histérica, es histórica. Porque ah, cuando okay. la mujer se enoja, <laughs> le empieza a sacar hasta de donde, donde nació. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> ¿Qué piensan, chicas? What do you think about this? This is true. It's, it's true. It's wrong. It's wrong. No. No, you're not right. No. It's totally wrong. No, no, no it's tiene razón. Really, really yes. You are wrong, Cesar. This is a great discussion topic, you know. Es un buen tema de discusión. Podríamos hablar una hora y ganamos, las chicas. We will be the winners, you know. Yes. Power the girls, teacher. Because they are always right. <laughs> <laughs> Siempre tenemos la razón. We are always right, yes. right all the time. That's it. Oh, <laughs> it's, Bien, it's a power a... girl. Yes, of course, girls power. You know, hablando de eso, hoy me voy a poner mi camisa. Tengo una camisa que dice girls power, pero no, no me la puse. I don't know why. Me hubiera usado. Acá, si se fijan, en oh this exercise, eh, tenemos otro tipo como de descripción. How we can refer to the same member of the family, but in different words. Lo referimos en otras palabras. So you can express in different words, you know? So how about number one? Andy is Sam's grandfather and Marta is his? Grandmother. Okay, grandmother or grandma. I'm not going to complete because grandma. of the time. Chris is Sam's, Chris is right here, Chris, is Sam father? It's a father. father. Exactly, father. father or dad. But in this case, we have the word father. Father, right here. So mm -hmm. I guess this is the only exercise, right? Creo que es el único ejercicio con la familia. Yes. Yeah. Right. So it's quite easy. Creo que acá... esta, este, este ejercicio también estaba en el material escrito mm -hmm. y right lo tuve, estuve llenándolo también. Veamos y después, uh, este es el último tema, si sí, es el último tema. Ok, we still have 10 minutes. Saben que uno de los últimos temas también era de el present continuous, or present progressive. But in this case, if you see, we have been talking about the present continuous, present progressive, that is the same. But in this case, whenever we use the present continuous, um, the definition that we always have in mind is about activities that are happening in the moment, you know? Actividades que pasan en el momento. But actually, we can also make reference of the present continuous as activities or plans that are happening in the moment and that we are going to be repeating and making for a long time. Es una de las diferencias del presente continuo, you know? Para que quede claro. No solo son actividades que están pasando in this moment. I am listening to the teacher. It is raining. I am uh, eating. I am watching TV. Y la actividad se finalizó. No. Just an, like an introduction. Se las doy como introducción porque mañana queda ese tema con el último. It's muy fácil. It's quite easy. Miren acá. Look at this example. And take a look at this one. Number one. Are you living at home now? Are you living at home now? We can have an affirmative or negative response. Now. Or we can also have this one. Is your sister working in another city. Si se fijan, no usa la expresión now, ahorita. It is not using the expression now. Why? Because we can refer to this one as an activity that is going to continue. ¿Por cuánto tiempo creen que eh, estará trabajando en otra ciudad? Just one day. 
many for years? How long? Probably many years, right? So if you see, this is an activity that is not going to stop just right in the moment. Probably she is going to be in another city for a couple of months or many years. We don't know, right? How about the third example? Are your parents studying English this year? Miren esta expresión, this year. No estamos diciendo en el momento, this year, este, este año. Este año, uh -huh. este año. Si se fijan, es una actividad que puede durar los 12 meses. Entonces, padre, para ese tu, caso. Eh, uh -huh. Como dice, están, tus padres están estudiando este, este año, inglés este año, algo así. This year, so. This is an activity that we can refer as a long-term activity. Nos referimos como una long-term, largo plazo, long-term. For example, if I ask you, si les pregunto, are you studying English this year? Are you studying English in this moment? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia de ambas respuestas? In this year, in this moment. ¿Cuál sería la long term? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Porque es en este momento y este año. O sea, como que el, este momento es... Uh -huh. This moment es ahorita. Sería es, ahorita, es en esta moment. hora, ¿ok? From A, uh -huh. no, from 9 to 10. Eso sería in this moment, from 9 to 10. This de year, eso sería indefinido, o sea, no se sabe cuándo uh -huh. está estudiando, sino que lo es en term, este exactly. año. Entonces, escribamos ambas para que se fijen que pueden durar. Look, I am studying English. Esta puede ser una long term. It can... Le faltó la de teacher. Es mi teclado, ¿saben? No sé por qué está fallando. Está bien. Oh. Teacher va antes de la Y. Like this one. Ok. Si se fijan, eh, es una actividad que puede, eh, ¿cómo les digo? Pasar en este momento from 9 to 10 or I don't know. When did you start studying English? ¿Cuándo empezaron a estudiar inglés? Let me see. Let's go back. Let's go back to the time. Tell me. In January. January. In this year. In this year. January, December. Okay. So if you see, uh, in my case, I have been studying English for almost 12 years, I guess. 12, you know, and I still continue learning a lot from the language, you know. So this is an activity that is going to last probably, um, you know, for a couple of years, for many years, not only in this moment. So this is like the introduction of the topic that we are going to be covering tomorrow. And because I really want to make a review a review about the topics from sections one, two, and three. Well, one to four, and the last one, section number five. So in case that you have questions, we can have enough time uh, in order to make questions and for me to help you out with the exercises from the platform. Okay? Bien, pues, vamos a chequear la asistencia. Um, Let me look for it. Ya no está lloviendo. Cabal, cuando termina la clase de inglés, se va la lluvia. Imagine. Siempre me pasa. Let me see. And aquí estamos. Igual, recordándoles. Eh, lo de la plataforma, si tienen preguntas... 
y yo les puedo ayudar, díganme porque así entran todos juntos en el mismo grupo del siguiente lunes y si no pues van a tener que esperar un poquito más ok let me see today is the 28 Aleli Concepción present professor Ana Gabriela Ana Karina Present. Okay. Ana Stephanie. Andrea Isabel. Here. Okay. Brian Edwin. Brian Isaac. Yeah. Carlos Eden. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Cesar Alexander. I'm here, Professor. Okay. Cristelia Rosalina. Cristelia. I'm here. Daisy Magdalena. I'm here. Okay. Edgardo Antonio. Eduardo Díaz. Edwin Ernesto. Elvis Aníbal. I'm here. Emerson Alexander. Present. Fátima Esmeralda. Present. Fernando Arturo. Gabriela. I'm here. Ah, ok. Gabriela Lisette. Here, teacher. Gladys Elizabeth. Present. Glenda Abigail. Present. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabo Elizabeth. Present. Jasmine Yvonne. Present, teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Okay, and Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Muy bien, chicos. So, teacher, quiero agregar algo. Please. Apologize for my previous question, the taxi girl. No, don't, don't be, don't be sorry. You know, that's okay. Just, I guess this is just part of the class. You know, that we can have fun together and we can also be more interactive with the class. So don't worry, don't apologize, but. Thank you so much, Emerson. You know? Good night. Good night, everyone. I think I'm going to say that Arely has 51, he told me, right? He looks very good. Yeah, shut up, shut up. I'm not going to say that. Yes, I'm 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 going to say that. Let me do something, wait, let me do something, wait. 62, 62. No, Elvis. 